Hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. I have here the Caseta wireless system from Lutron, the starter set, and I am more than thrilled because after over a year, Apple has finally released HomeKit to the masses, and five new products have hit the market. The Lutron Caseta wireless system was the first one to hit stores, so we rushed out there and got it. We're going to go ahead and put it through its paces. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. As you can see, we have the basic starter set here, which is going to come with a bridge, two little wireless dimmer switches, and two Pico remotes. This is going to allow you to remotely, using Siri, turn your lights on and off, turn your lights on and off using their smartphone app, or turn the lights on and off slash dim them using the Pico remotes. You can dim them using Siri as well. Uh, I just did not mention that one. Uh, so noted. Uh, again, you are going to get about five pieces here in total. The hub, the you know the hub connect to your the bridge, whatever you want to call it, that connects to your router. The two dimmer switches, two remotes. We will also get this fancy little box in here with a bunch of little fun uh, extra items. And by fun, I mean not fun at all, like the cords, like the basic cords. But at least they throw them in because it does use a uh, Ethernet. You're going, to, you're going to have to plug the hub into your router. This is all communicated through Wi-Fi, not Zigbee or anything like that, but you do need to plug into your router, and then you will have the actual power adapter itself, which is using micro USB. So yay for standards and general stuff that we can swap our power cords around. Uh, you're going to have three buttons on the back of your bridge. Well, sorry, not buttons. You're going to have one button and two ports, one for power and one for Ethernet. The bottom is going to have two or four rubberized feet, and... Uh, that's about it. You have a light around the rim, and this is a pretty small bridge. It is smaller than the Hue, the Hue bridge that you have. Uh, you can kind of see it's smaller than my fist or my hand. Next up, we have these uh, dimmer switches. You do get two of them. It has four buttons on the front, on, off, and dimming up and down. I guess one of them is not really dimming, brightening, I guess. Uh, you have lamp spots on both the left and the right, so you cannot plug in fans or heaters or anything like that. Uh, this does allow you to plug in a total of four things. So you can plug in two to this one, two to the second switch that you get with it as well. So four lamps total, you can plug this in like maybe you have a bedroom set. Uh, next, we have the Pico remotes. There are two Pico remotes included as well. It has five buttons on the remotes, the on and off light, as well as dimming up and down, and a favorites button there in the middle. It is on this kind of heavy base, and it slides right off, so you can kind of carry it around. This is similar to like the Hue Tap they use for the Hue system, except for this one does not mount, which means you're going to have this sitting on your table, uh, and if you take off that remote, you're going to lose it. I can almost guarantee you're going to lose this remote if you take it off, because it is tiny. I would kind of like if this could be mounted on the wall, and you could pull off the remote if you wanted to like move around the house or something, but really, if you should just carry this whole kind of oddly shaped thing around. It is... It, I don't think it's a, it's a big deal, but I'm really worried I'm going to lose these things because they're small. They're going to like fall down like the cushions on my couch and like flip it over. It's going to be a whole ordeal, I promise you. Anyway, so that is everything you get with our fancy Cassetra Home Wireless Starter Pack. If we're going to go ahead and set this up, it's fairly easy. We're going to plug in our power adapter. We're going to plug in first the Ethernet cord into the back of our router and then into the back of the bridge or hub. Then we're going to plug in the power cord. You can see that white light will light around the hub itself. We're then going to unplug our lamp and plug a lamp into the side of our dimmer switch. As I mentioned before, you can plug two lamps into there, like say a bedroom set or something like that, or a living room. Anyway, you can plug in two different lamps into the side of this, but we're going to use one for our demo at the moment. As you can see, it does exactly what it should do using the controls on there. You can turn it on and off. This is going to be very similar to like a Wemo system, except it has the ability to dim and brighten your lights. This will work with a myriad of bulbs, including LED bulbs, halogens, and incandescents. So kind of whatever bulb you've got lying around, there's a good chance that the uh, Cassetra little dimmer switch here will be able to brighten and dim it. You do not, however, have to use the controls built into the switch. You can use the remote. You can pair the remotes very easily by holding that bottom button for about six seconds or until that LED on the top starts to flash. You hold the bottom button again on your Pico remote that you want to pair to this specific light or light set, and it'll start to flash the bulb, and great success, we have linked them together. Now, using the remote, you can turn the light on or off. When you are setting up the app, it will remove this pairing, and you'll have to reconfigure it through the app itself. So don't do this step, and it was a little bit confusing through the instructions, but don't do that step if you're going to set up the app, which I'm assuming most of you will do. 
when you first open the app and download it, make sure you have the Lutron Cassetra app, not the other ones that Lutron offers. It's going to have you agree to a few policies and give you a few permissions for the app, such as notifications and location data. Next, we're going to actually need to make an account. So we're going to have to add an email address and then a password. We're then going to have to authorize it to access our bridge. We're going to plug our bridge in basically the steps that we had completed earlier. Then it's going to have maybe do a software update and then have you press the button on the side. Mine failed the first few times, but I kind of gave up for the night, came back the next day, and everything was a breeze. So if you do have some issues, just kind of give it some time and try again. We're then going to go ahead and set up our, our home. So it's going to have you add a home. You just hit the Add Home button, and then it's going to have you name it. This is basically allowing it for the Siri and the HomeKit integration to work. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the setup code that is on the bottom of the device or on the included piece of paper. We're going to go ahead and add that, which is going to tie our bridge to our home kit. Next, we're going to add some devices to our network. So right now we just have the bridge added to the app. So we need to add the actual devices to the app. So we're going to choose our dimmer outlet switch that we have. And you're going to do the same thing you did to pair it to the remote by holding down that bottom button for about six seconds. You're going to choose an icon for it. So one or two lights for in this instance, give it a name and then hit save in that top right hand corner. Our device has been added. You can also add the other switch that came with it, as well as the two remotes. Let's go ahead and now look at Siri integration, the stuff that we really want to see. So first, we're going to add a room. Everything can be broken up into rooms or zones. So for this instance, we're going to do a room. We're going to call it bedroom, and we're going to add our bedroom lights to that, zone, to that room. You can also set up a zone, such as upstairs or downstairs. You can say, turn off my upstairs lights or turn off my downstairs lights, which can encompass multiple rooms. Now, simply saying, Siri, can you turn on my bedroom lights? Siri will instantly recognize that and turn my light on. If you want to access the if you want to access this remotely, you do need an Apple TV. That will be kind of the central hub that will allow outside access. So if I'm not at home, I can say, hey, Siri, did I leave my lights on? It'll check and let me know. And then I can turn them off. Here you can see, hey, Siri, can you turn my bedroom lights on? It turns on almost instantly. Same thing works in turning off. And because the Cassatra wireless system, these are dimmer switches, we can also use Siri to turn the uh, lights on or off to a certain position. So I can say, turn my bedroom lights on to 50%. And it'll set my bedroom lights to 50% that easily. And it's not just 50%. You can throw in any percentage you want at it. I had a lot of fun trying to try different percentages, but it works with pretty much all of them. So you can say 90% or 10%, and all that will work, and it works almost seamlessly once you get through kind of an odd setup process. Now, not going to lie, I've been waiting for this for a long time, and I've been eagerly expecting the release of HomeKit. Right now, though, it's very limited. I can control my lights, which is one kind of thing. Eventually, I want to be able to say, Siri, I'm going to bed. It'll lower my thermostat, turn my lights off, lock my door, and close my garage. That's the ideal place, but right now, there's just not enough stuff on the market. Hopefully, we'll see some updates soon, though, including the Hue and the August Smart Lock. I'll be posting a lot of videos soon as more stuff comes on the market. If you have any questions at all on the Lutron Cassetra wireless system or HomeKit in general, throw them up in the comments. Check out my other videos, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.